Shit, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. This fucking shit's everywhere. Look at the amount of it. Just look. Look at the amount, okay? Fuck, man. I'm breathing that in, people. Mag bitter truth. You fucking people are dumb. <laughs> if you ever watched him, that's how he sounds. You need to wake the fuck up, people. No, I don't tell you nothing because you idiots. You fucking sheep. Um, I guess our only hope is Jesus. That's our only hope. Now, I've, I'm looking at all these and they know when I'm looking at it. They know when I'm looking at them. They know it. Yeah, they're fucking little glowing orbs and sh Praise be to the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. In times like these, you can cling on to Jesus. Mighty Christ Jesus. And I encourage you, if you don't know him, to get to know him because he's the only way out. And hell is eternal. Hell is eternal torment beyond your wildest imagination. For eternity. If you can handle that, then... Have a good time, but I'm going with Jesus. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen? In the name of Jesus, mighty Jesus Christ, I do, I do put my hand over this, this chemtrail stuff, and I say, be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Get out of this town in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, that's right, every knee shall bow in the end. Yeah, you have to flee in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is here with us, ladies and gentlemen, in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I got a headache. All right. Let's zoom in on this and focus. Little fibers, little fibers. Oh, yep, I see them floating in here. They're coming at me, motherfuckers. God, please forgive my language. They're just everywhere. Everywhere. Uh, Self-assembling. Self-replicating. I don't know if they're self-replicating, but the, we all we know that the hydra more um the hydra is. Somebody's Let's go out here a little bit. God, everybody's breathing that shit in, you know it. They're scattering. They're an up they're in a an up an upheaval or a they're really <laughs> There is power in the name of Jesus. <sighs> it's our only hope. God for, can forgive you for anything. He can forgive for anything you've ever done. If you feel too ashamed to come to him, don't be. It's just like your mother or father would forgive you for just about anything. He can take it a step further and cleanse you, make you new, make you white as snow. That is your sins and your... Because when Jesus died, he covered us with his blood. We've been redeemed. We will be redeemed. We're his. We deserve death. Because we're sinners. We're nasty. God is holy. We have a holy God and a just God. The penalty of sin is death. I mean, they can't have sin contaminating his holiness. He can't even really look upon it. From what I understand, I heard somebody one time went through a 
had a near-death experience. And an angel took him into heaven, and heaven said, breathe out the last bit of air you have. And he said, because your, your air is evil, and we can't have it in here, or it's sinful. They couldn't even have his, his breath in there, in, in heaven. So when you think about it, a God's a holy and just God. That means holy, with, perfect. You know, so sin is just is nasty to him. He hates it. He detests it. So blood sacrifices had to be made because the penalty of sin is death. But praise be to the Father for our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who died and went to the cross, went to the tree on a hill for us, gave himself in our place that we should not perish but have everlasting life. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. When you look to the sun, always look to the sun. Because we are in a shit storm. Just an absolute shit storm. But these things have to come to pass. It's written. So it's actually, you know, it's a it's a call to for celebration to know that the Lord's coming back soon. However, it is frightening. It's very frightening. This these are intelligent nanoparticulate that want to control your mind and manipulate you and they're just, who knows, God God knows what's in it. And it's like, uh, in the days of Noah, God sent the flood to destroy the earth, but fallen angels were mixing their DNA with the women, making things they shouldn't have been making. And that's exactly what's going on today. That's exactly what's going on. Our DNA is being messed with on all different fronts. God's got to wipe it out again. And I get it. Um, I heard an interesting thing from a pastor or whatnot, some kind of religious leader. Maybe not a religious leader, but just a, a, a follower of Christ. He said uh, somebody took the vaccine. He was a, a priest or something like that. Um, and he went to go do an exorcism. And the demon told him, that since they use babies' um, cell lines, fetal cell lines, so basically aborted babies in the vaccine, God can't redeem you because Satan is in you, evil's in you, the demons in you, demons are in the vaccine. Um, but there was light to his story because he said he repented of getting the jab and he was truly deeply sorry and he asked for forgiveness and he said he felt the love of God come back upon him because once he got the jab he felt like he was evil, he felt unworthy, he felt like he didn't even want to say Jesus Christ's name, you know? So um, I put this out there, I hope it can help somebody. I've been trying to do this for ten, over 10 years. Yeah, way before 2012, I've been filming chemtrails. I've always felt kind of led to do this, and I found a lot of strange stuff in my days, and um, I feel like it was God kind of leading me along the way. And don't get me wrong, I was kind of like a new age. I didn't know what to believe. Back then, I was holding crystals up at the clouds, trying to move them around. <sighs> Whatever works, right? But I hopefully I'm fulfilling my calling in some way. I don't know. Because I don't know if I've done it to the best of my ability. I don't know if I've shouted from the rooftops, but I've done what I could. <sighs> and I felt like an idiot for doing it over the years, too. People really make you feel dumb. You're a huge conspiracy theorist. You're looking up at the sky all the time. You're like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's supposed to do that. That's just uh, this. That's just that. You know. When you're out there all the time looking at it, studying it, you know what it is. 
you know what it is better than those people do yet they try to tell you otherwise don't listen to the mockers and if they keep dismissing you what does the Bible say don't cast your pearls to swine you wouldn't give your jewelry to a nasty pig would you and stop giving your precious diamonds and rupees and beautiful things to people who don't want to accept it. 